everyone, my name is Taisha of Taisha Talks, and today we'll be speaking to Miss Strings of Strings and Things. You gon' love her just how you love Oprah. Watch it every day just to get to know her. Taisha Talk, it's a takeover. The wait's over, it's a must see. Ha! Taisha TV. Hello, Strings, how are you today? Hi, Taisha. Um, today is your grand opening of your new location. I believe you call it the sequel. Right, well, this isn't the sequel. The sequel is the club that's in the making. This is just the temporary spot for the Casa de la Strings. So we're calling this Casa de la Temporary. Oh, okay. Now with that being said, before we go any further into your interview, I need to let the audience know why you went from La Casa, Strings and Things, mm -hmm. to your situation right now. Mm -hmm. Well, the how it started was the original building that I was in was built for my boutique a year ago today or this month rather a year ago I opened up a boutique to sell exotic dancewear it was moving too slow um, a jack of all trades I decided to do something other than sit there and wait on the money to come to me so one night I'm sitting there I'm like I'm just gonna have a party I get on Instagram Lord knows the social network click of a button it was 7 o'clock one evening by 12 the place is packed it's only 830 square feet Okay. So that was, you know, about four or five months ago. From then to now, mm -hmm. it grew enormously by word of mouth, by just how strings is, okay. and just by everybody wanting to see what it is that everybody's talking about. Well, the spot, I never changed it over from retail to, I guess you would say, lounge or dance hall. Okay. And on top of which, it, the occupancy was not good. Okay. Now with the, I don't, I don't want to say competition, but with, with the awareness that everybody around the city was starting to get, it made it for, I don't know, like the red alert. Okay. So I'm under the radar, and now we got these. By the city by of? The, by the city of Orlando, Orange County. Okay. And I had I had the um, officials come in one day, and they gave me, you know, hey, we want you to prosper. This is what you need to do to get it right. We, we want you to make money. We're not here to shut you down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure why or what made them have to come back again. Mm -hmm. But when they came back again, the events that took place that night is what led me here because that's when I got these citations for alcohol sales, which I didn't do. Or don't and the do. whole city knows that Strings does not sell alcohol at all. If I hear you even ask how much anything is in my establishment, you can just leave. Secondly, the girls, they said that they got nude. I don't do adult entertainment because I consider that where they're taking clothes off, whether it's their top, their bottoms, whether it's even peeking, whether it's touching themselves. I don't allow any of that, and the whole city knows that as well. Everybody's gotten used to it because I aim to change the, the look of the Naked Hustle, basically. And what is the Naked Hustle exactly? The Naked Hustle to me is exactly what it sounds like, naked. Okay. The girls go up, they take their clothes off, tops, bottoms, whatever. They do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They get a little bit of nothing. In my establishment, okay. you pay a little nothing to get a whole lot more. I don't allow them to get naked okay. at all. Not breasts, not buttocks, and nothing at all. On top of which, I'm going to entice the crowd to bring out the money. Okay. So all of that in itself created for such a, a warm environment. And the, the feel of my spot was more like a, a spot on South Beach, like a boutique on South Beach. Okay. So, and then I had the armed security. It just allowed for everybody to feel comfortable. Okay. Now, for some, that must have posed a deep threat. And what would you say is a deep threat to whom? Well, I, personally, I we feel don't like have to the call threat names. I want is, is, is you know, is the names go without saying when it comes to this. The threat come in when the girls that would work at these clubs, these particular strip clubs, per se, okay. they no longer want to work at this club from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock for $50, $60 a night okay. and only making 20 Mm -hmm. And they're getting naked, they're dancing, they're sweating, they're doing this, the environment sucks, the people don't care about them. These are the things that I'm getting as far as the feedback back from the girls. Okay. So me, in a sense, I take all of that and I do the opposite. Now, I'm providing this. I, I purchase their personal items. When they come in, I make them feel warm and welcome. 
it, all night they don't have the tip out, don't worry about it. Just give it to me when you can. Okay. So all of that set the tone for, okay, this is the spot where we want to be now. Okay, these clubs, well, where are our girls? If the girls not there, where are the customers? Hey everyone, this is Taisha of Taisha Talks, and I will be speaking with Miss Tiffany. How are you today, Miss Tiffany? I'm all right. I'm sorry. And I see that you are a big supporter of Strings and Things. Yes, I am. What attracted you to Miss Strings and Things? You know, basically her personality. It was somewhere that I could go. You know, I've been working all week. You know, a lot of places close early, and you know, it's the only place that I can go. You know, just bring friends and be like. This is somewhere you can go, you know, even if we got dressed too late or you get off at 11, 1130, you know what I'm saying? Clubs close at 2 by the time you get home and get a shower. You know, with that being said, you're basically providing a safer environment for the ladies that, sh that you're allowing to right. dance at your, uh, your establishment. Exactly. Correct? Safer and more comfortable and more family oriented. Okay. When it, my, my team, at team, we call it Team Casa, we don't deal with love. It's called loyalty. Loyalty, love will get you killed. Loyalty take you a long way. And that's what this world is really lacking today. There exactly. is a lot less loyalty going on in 2013. Now, with that being said, I know that you have a lot of dancers that uh, follow you, or you, or you have a great following. Right. Now, with that being said, how do you feel the closing of your other location affected, affected your dancers? Well, a lot of the dancers that were there, they, with the closing of that location and the incidents that night, it made them feel as if though, um, well, I don't know if I want to work there because I don't know if this is going like this. Truth be told, everybody knew what they were getting into when they got into it. Okay. So, but all of my loyals, okay, they're here right now today. That's no a good problem, thing. No problem, no issue. They've been calling, checking on me, want to see when we're going to open, ready to see when we're going to open. And that, that night when the final event that took place to lead me to here, I told them that the previous night I didn't hide sugarcoat or say any, not disclose any information in regards to, okay, we were just raided last night. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to work tonight. Hey. What have I learned from getting rich? I learned one. Love Sean. It is to make a better picture. I call you Sean. And me is one hell of a A lot of people felt like you basically ran out of the situation. How would you explain that to not only your followers, but your loyal supporters as well? Okay. And, and like I said, and this, this when this question comes about, it, it really... It makes me upset because nobody was in that situation. The situation that happened was there was a firearm dropped inside of the building. Okay. Also, I got into an altercation earlier that night with someone that may have sent the police there. Okay. So, as far as me being there, and right, it is my business and it's my responsibility. I feel like it had anyone else been put in that position to leave it rather I have four children which is the reason why I do this I don't do this for shits and giggles I do it for JT Jaden Skyler in Brooklyn okay in the story that's understandable so when when this all of this happens it's all like spur the moment everything taking place at one time I'm not everything I'm all over the place but when I'm told that there's a firearm in here mm -hmm. now it changed up the dynamics of the whole situation okay I gotta get out of here okay. that's I stood understandable there, right okay once I'm told about the firearm, that's when I know I need to leave because I need enough time. But I don't, I don't have time to sit here and figure out, okay, if they're gonna charge me or if they're not gonna charge me. My main focus was getting to my children to make sure they're okay while I'm on this side of the wall. Right, and that's understandable. You being a parent, a single parent at that, right. that not only supported your siblings but also your children. Right. So that's therefore, true. your supporters need to understand that it wasn't done intentionally to harm mm -hmm. anyone but you know you're a parent so the first initial thought is let me get to my children mm -hmm. let me reach out to them before god forbid i get locked up mm -hmm. and i cannot see them how would you like your followers to know about strengths basically strings the person is not reflective of Tiandra. Tiandra and Strings just so happen to ride in the same body. Okay. You know, like, but they they share a lot of the same ways. I'm very loving, heartwarming. Um, I care about people, 
and because I care about people, that's what has gotten me to the, the extensive fan base, the extensive follows, the supporters, is because they know I genuinely care. And I strive too hard to get to where I am. What I got, nobody gave to me, so I'm not gonna let nobody take it away. That situation that happened at night with that firearm and them feeling like I ran out on everybody, what people don't know is two days later, I by myself went down to City Hall and code enforcement and I signed those papers. Me, just Tiandra. I took responsibility for everything. So right now, Tiandra is who's facing the consequences for everything. Not expecting anybody else to have anything else to do with anything else because at the end of the day, only I can do me. Your boutique, right? You stated that you ha you do do your own line. Am I correct? Right. Now, well, currently it's it's phased out because I was focused more on where the, the more money was coming in. The most majority of the money was coming in here in Orlando. Personally, I feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, that it's crabs in a bucket. I'm not originally from here. I am from Ocala, Florida, and I came here. And I, I, I'll say I just took this city by storm. That's just because I don't have time to sleep. I have my own dream, and, and it's just sleeping is not going to get me there. So when I came here, I just work, 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 and that's what got me to the point I am today. Now, where do you see yourself five, ten years from now? Well, with where I am in my head five, ten, ten years from now, I'm trying to build a dynasty. Okay. Excuse my expression. Fuck a crew. That's just where I am. Like, and I, I'm sorry, but that's just it. And the people on, on this road to this dynasty, on this ladder, I'm adding extra steps. So whoever wants to come along can come along because I feel like greater is the whole. Right away, you know, she was like very um, welcoming. You know, she, you know, sometimes you get into these clubs and you just feel like a vibe, like I'll never come back here again. It just felt so stale. It was just everybody was warm. The music was right. <laughs> and now, with that being said, you're basically saying that she's a warm, genuine person. Am I correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like I'm, I'm like she barely even knew me, and you know, the first time I met her, you know, she was just so welcoming. She was like, you know. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll and I'll immediately follow you back. And she, you know, and I, I valued that because she kept her word. You know, being that she has so many followers, it's not too many people with that status that'll actually follow somebody back. And I just, I said, you know what? That's somebody who I'll definitely always support. You know, as a woman. Yeah, you know, someone with 200 followers, you have a thousand and some followers, and you can follow me. You know, and, and it just showed me that she had a good heart. What do you expect of your turnout? Today? Well, tonight, I mean, granted, this happened, I, they shut me down Monday. Right. Everybody thought I was going to fold. Oh, she's done. Which you didn't. She's out. I didn't. It just made me so mad, and, and it pushed me even harder. And I, did, I wasn't even sure that I was going to have an answer for these people by Wednesday. But I said, I have an answer for you on Wednesday. Okay. On Wednesday, I was able to tell them that, okay, here we are, and this is where we'll be. So the turnout tonight will be based off of 24-hour promotion. Everyone, this is Taisha of Taisha Talks, and I'm here with Miss Charlie. Hi. And um, she is one of the dancers for Strings and Things. I noticed that a lot of females or people in general feel like strippers. Wow, they're going to they're going to strip because they don't have no life. They're going to strip because they don't really mean anything. What do you have to say to the people that feel that way about dancers? Well, actually, dancers are some of the hardest workers. First of all. We have to have a lot of confidence in order to dance in front of the crowd of people half naked. But I won't say that we're strippers because we don't take the clothes off. We're go go dancers for strippers. I, I like to say exotic dancers okay. are well, well, we're ballerinas. You're ballerinas? She called oh. us ballerinas. <laughs> With um, everything that you just expressed to your supporters, um, what is it that makes you feel like you have that drive behind you, that force that makes you feel like, you know what, I can do this? You know what? In, in basically three days. Taisha, all my life I've been told, we're gonna make the decision for you. Mm -hmm. This is what's gonna happen. And I don't like to play the card. I don't, not too many people know. It's 
very rarely I let everybody into my like my soul as to why I am how I am. Mm -hmm. I was uh, DCF came into my life when I was nine years old. Okay. My mother didn't fight for me, and I, I love her to death. I'm not taking that away from her, but I remember walking down that long sidewalk and watching her just sit there. It was mm. due to drugs and you know stuff like that. Like I, it's my baby, my heart. I love her to death, but I was. I'm the oldest, and I've been my brother's keeper ever since I can remember. Having that happen to me, about I said I didn't want any children because I didn't want to have to have them leave the world. I didn't want to have them go through anything. But and when I did have my first son, I said, you know what? I swear I would never treat my children like that. I'd never let them endure that. So with that being said, everything that I've got to do to make sure they don't, that's what happens. I've slept in cars. I've done things I haven't wanted to do. I've been to jail. I've uh, done illegal things. Mm -hmm. Right now, where I am with Strings and Things Incorporated, is something to be proud of because it's all legal. It's all what Tiandra worked for. And it's something that my kids are proud to say, regardless of what anybody else looks at it. Like I tell them, I'm not reflective of the Strings and Things with the, the dancers, the strippers, excuse me, um, the, the music and whatever. I'm. I'm here as a person that's trying to be somebody for somebody, which is JT James Allen. I like the day, you know, because it was a nice environment. You know, it's like the hood. You ain't got to be dressed a certain type of way. You don't feel judged by nobody. You know what I'm saying? You can come there and you can have a good time and ain't nobody going to judge you. You know, it's a good, warm feeling, just like Tiffany said. Now, what do you have to say as far as your female followers, your loyal female followers, or just females that are seeking the opportunity to grow in life you know I get so many people and, it, and they are like I have so many people that are the reason why I'm here right now because they believed in me and they pushed me and they motivated me at them times when I was like nah this ain't even that big of a deal things I always tell people do the best because you never know who's watching you're always on stage you never know who's watching and when I get random emails random text messages, random, you know, responses on Facebook or inboxes or whatever, and they say, you inspire me. The littlest thing that I do inspires them. Like right now, I've created a movement. In three days, I came from, oh, I can't believe they did that to look at me now, you know, like, and seriously, I have men telling me I will grind and work harder than some men. I spend long nights in this industry as if though I were a stripper, but I'm far from it. I just support it. But... I want any woman or man to know that you won't you'll never know if you can make it if you don't try to make it. Right. And I would have never guessed a year ago you couldn't have told me that I'll be sitting here right now. On the Taisha Talk Show. On, on the Taisha Talk Show. Being able to tell people that from whence I came. Your story to me, uh, Strings, has inspired me as well because I knew you before uh, your situation mm -hmm. and where I was working as a manager in a strip club where we met. And um, when you came in there, you always came in there with this array of light. Like, I to say that, yeah. I'm here. It's that light up a club. <laughs> right. And um, with that being said, knowing you before your situation that happened three days ago, and knowing you, uh, your growth, mm -hmm. it, it has inspired me as well. And that's yeah. why it made me feel like, you know what, I need to go out there and I need to I start need making that's right. certain moves done. Yep. Because there's a lot of people that sit back and they're just they just waiting for you to fuck up. Mm -hmm. That's that's just let's keep mm -hmm. it 100. Mm -hmm. They waiting for you to like you know what, you go and drop the ball. Right. I'm just waiting for your ass to drop that ball. Right. And when you drop that ball, I'm gonna pick that bitch up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when when I when I saw your situation and I felt like you know what, that's somebody I want to be next to. Mm -hmm. That's somebody I want to be cool with. That's somebody I want to be friends with. Why? Because I felt the need that when I see a woman struggle, especially a single mother, that is 
is doing it on her own and she don't know no, how it no idea they don't have no idea how you want to rub two nickels together exactly. to keep a roof over you and your children's head and with that being said they should have thought twice before coming to you and trying to shut your doors oh, it's not like you were selling drugs it's not like you was prostituting and not, you wasn't even selling liquor bottom line you know I'm gonna tell you like I'm gonna cut you off at the end of the day what what strings wants the world to know and this is gonna be my last and final statement just know that you've created a monster okay you've created a monster that's it and thank you very much and this is the end of Taisha talks thank you miss strings and things for thank coming you. out and allowing me to interview you <laughs> And um, I wish you lots of success and happiness. Thank and I will be paying attention like the rest of the world is paying attention. Okay? Monster. Okay, thank you.